Hello and welcome back to another episode of Ironman Training. We are now 15 weeks out from Ironman Portugal. It is, uh, yes, getting very real now. So this week's actually recovery week. Essentially how my training is working is I'm having like three weeks where I build up the training and then one week where we drop it back down, recover and then start to build it back up again. Hopefully improving the fitness without overdoing it. Last week we had really good training, apart from the last day where somewhere on my bike managed to get in pretty much all my sessions. Just a bit of strength and conditioning that I missed. I'm gonna miss something I'd rather be that than some of the like key sessions. But we did basically break the bike on like the second to last ride of the week. But all of this recovery week I had no bike. It did still work in the little ring, I just didn't really want to use it and potentially risk making it worse. So I got it booked in as early as I can and that's kind of where we headed off to at the start of the day. The baby is in the back. The bike is in the back. I was gonna go open water swimming before. Didn't realise till this morning I got up and and tried to book and it was like booking closed so i guess you need to book a day or two before so i learned that lesson for next time so no swimming today the plan was going to be to do swim bike run with triathlon nothing ever goes to plan so instead we'll do well hopefully the bike will get fixed and we can do a bike ride and brick run if the bike can't get fixed today maybe it'll just be a long rest we're still gonna go out for breakfast though so yes, I'm starving. So it took a little bit longer than we thought to get the bike seen to so i ended up going out for breakfast and nicole had to do some bits in the afternoon so me and ali just had some play time <laughs> I don't know if we need any more toys out. I don't know if we need more toys. And it was time to get some training. This was going to be like my biggest kind of training day of the week. At the start of the week, I did my strength and conditioning on the Monday. And I think I'd gone like three and a half weeks without doing proper strength and conditioning. So my legs were so sore afterwards. I ended up having two rest days after that. We did get a swim session in and some intervals in on the Thursday. And then on the Saturday, I ended up doing a park run, which was actually really good. I did it as like a long run. So I ended up doing nine miles, not the longest, but then the three miles in the middle where I did the park run was like, really good pace for me i think it was my pb at that course so my running is definitely improving which is great to see i just really want to make sure that i'm also improving my brick runs it is now 7 p.m made it all the way through the day bike is back home assembled apparently it should work it needs further repair but i can't get it in for like another two weeks so he's just done like a fix on it so it should work for now could potentially break it in the future so i just thought i'd book it in in two weeks time because the last thing i want is to be doing ironman portugal and then not be able to go to the big ring gonna go out on the road now so plans to do like two hours and then do a little run off the bike probably about 5k so like two and a half hours yeah well it's quarter past seven now so I'm not gonna be home till like 10 o'clock probably and then we'll have dinner and uh, go to bed it's very windy out there so don't know if you're gonna hear anything ride is done that's two hours everything quite nice at the end Nice little sunset, had a great start on there, had some of those little drumstick chew things and uh, four scoops of tailwind, 400 calories in the bottle. I'm just going to finish off the last bit now before the run and uh, yeah, just go out and do a nice 5k. I've got the running stuff already here, I'm not even put it upstairs, ready to go. So I'll quickly get changed, get out, get the run done, maybe get home before it's dark. I'm going to try and go somewhat quick. I'm going to try and do negative splits as well, so we get the pace on the way back. Uh, got a new bout which does hold a water bottle. Not going to use it on this run, but it's a bit annoying. I'm just trying to think of a solution for my long runs without stashing my water in a bush all the time. All right, anyway, just 5k now. So let's get it done. Run is done. That went really well. I felt so good on that run. Within like, I don't know, a few hundred meters, my legs just felt fine, uh, which is really good compared to like a few weeks ago, I wasn't going to do the 5k. Um, yeah, I was already feeling it after. Negative splits. I think the last mile was like 7 minutes 15 seconds. There was also a segment which I kind of went for at the end. I think got the third best time. I don't have Strava Premium, so now it just doesn't show you on the leaderboard. I guess if for everyone else maybe it does, I don't know. But yeah, got the third best time on there, I think. So pretty happy with that. Loads of food now. It's just gone 10 o'clock, so I'm going to get my roast from lunch, which... I didn't eat, I had pasta instead because a roast before a big ride and a brick run, probably not ideal. So that was the week of training. Not the most exciting one, but a recovery week which was needed, I think, after the previous week of training. And uh, yeah, what I will say is next week, um, yeah, it's going to be a bit more an exciting one. Oh, and we got dessert. 